Welcome to AQMD On The Air. I'm your host, Alan Caldwell. Joining me today is pediatric asthma specialist with Kaiser Permanente in Orange County and a member of our AQMD Environmental Justice Advisory Group, Dr. Hafif El Hassan. Dr. El Hassan, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me here. Before we get into specifics, mm -hmm. can you tell me what motivated you to focus on pediatric asthma? Pediatric asthma, or asthma in general, is the most common disease among children. And I wanted to address what was uh, most commonly out there. It's also the thing that seems to impact lives the most. It's a very quiet kind of suffering. You can have asthma and have a lot of suffering, a lot of shortness of breath, and still try to get through your day. And it's something that up to 8% of the pediatric population has. So uh, getting into it and doing an intervention and helping these children has been very rewarding to me. Well, I know that asthma may be the larger picture of what we talk mm -hmm. about, but let's talk about a little bit about specifics. Yes. Specifically, how does poor air quality exacerbate asthma or cause the onset of an asthma attack? Poor air quality in general affects everyone's lungs. So if you're in an area which has bad air quality, you're going to have some compromise to the lungs even if you're a healthy person. So a healthy person running through the smog is going to feel a little coughing, is going to have a little bit of irritation in the chest. Now take a person who has lungs that are already a little weaker, someone with asthma, and put them there in that environment and you're going to have a person who starts to have a asthma attack or their lung function gets worse or they have increased secretions. So it's a real problem for them. And there's also the issue with children. And one of the things that concerns me so much is the fact that when children are exposed to long-term bad air, their lung development, the growth of their lungs, is, becomes affected by this bad air. And they don't get the growth and development that leads to perfectly healthy lungs. In Southern California, we have a lot of freeways. Mm -hmm. And we are a major corridor. Uh, for goods movement and transportation. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about how our transportation system actually affects lungs and affects respiratory uh, illnesses, specifically in Orange County? In Orange County, you have multiple freeways. We have 5, 22, the 605, the 405, and some other ones I'm sure I'm right. not remembering <laughs> right now. But most, uh, at least, I would say, 50% of people live within a mile of a freeway. Right. Uh, the more, the closer you live to a freeway, the, the air has more uh, particles in it, there's more smog, the more irritated the air gets. Uh, and living near, in compounding this problem is also the fact that we have the ports of Long Beach, which affects the western aspects of Orange County, and we have the railroads that run along the 91 freeway. And you also have certain areas uh, where just the geography of the area traps in the smoke from the freeway. So the wind blows it to certain areas. You see it in Riverside. Uh, so there's a lot, having those sources of smog, both the stationary ones like the freeways and, and uh, railroads going through, uh, has a very profound effect on people. Right. And uh, very often, many of the people who live closest to the freeway are people who may be in a lower socioeconomic group, uh, may not have as good a health insurance or no health insurance, and they're the ones getting the worst of some of this smog and the ones who are having the, hard, the worst effects from it. Okay. I know at the AQMD, one of our core principles, of course, is protecting public health. Yes. If you would, can you explain or talk a little bit about how the AQMD partners with yourself and other physicians to help reduce asthma you know, in our area? AQMD has been a wonderful source of information for the public and has certainly done uh, its, its uh, duties in trying to protect the public. There's an, if, if anyone can go to the uh, AQMD website, that's www.aqmd.gov, and uh, can access a lot of very good information on uh, air quality and, and how to protect yourself. Uh, there is also a, uh, another site with even an iPhone app on it that, that uh, uh, www.cleanairconnections.org, uh, which uh, you can find out the quality of the air mm -hmm. for the day. You can find out where there's clean fuel uh, uh, available. And uh, you, there's even a place on there where you can report cars that are making really dirty smog. So there, there's a lot of nice things on there right. as well. 
Now, you talk about other things that the AQMD does, so let me give you some examples. Um, there's something called the Breathmobile. They have these 34-foot RVs, a bunch of them through the country, but uh, they're partially funded by the AQMD. They go to uh, areas where the, there might be you know, so lower uh, socioeconomic uh, conditions in those areas, and they, uh, they treat children with asthma and they go to the schools. I'd say in this country about 120,000 uh, children are, are uh, benefit from this in about 500 schools. And they treat these children who have asthma who might otherwise not have any treatment. And the results have been amazing from this. 96% uh, decrease in school absenteeism, which means the child gets to go to school and learn. Right. The parents can go and to work. Mm -hmm. Because uh, asthma or any of these diseases is going to cause a, uh, a ripple effect. You know, if a kid has to stay home, parent has to stay home. Uh, yeah. But uh, it, it's helped with that. It's lowered ER admissions, and actually, these kids have been much healthier because of these breath mobiles. So that's one way that it benefited the community. Sure. They've also given funding to some of the clinics uh, near the refineries and near some of these areas which have high right. amount of emissions. Uh, and Long Beach Memorial comes to mind. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's an asthma clinic there that they okay. help fund. Uh, St. John's uh, Well Child and Family Center, uh, they, they also help with that as well. Uh, so so they, they do a certain amount of uh, funding for that as well. Uh, they help uh, certain foundations like the um, uh, Brain and Lung Tumor and uh, Air Pollution Foundation, uh, which actually uh, spends time looking at ways to treat uh, brain tumors that are caused by poor air quality and uh, treatment and how to prevent it. Peop poor air quality can lead to cancer. Uh, the, the particles in the air actually, if they're tiny enough, and we see this with diesel particles, can actually get into the lungs and into the bloodstream. So not only do you have asthma and lung problems, but you can have these poisons basically, these chemicals getting into the body and actually causing problems in other areas through, through cancer. So uh, they're certainly helping with that as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that we are very fortunate to have you a member of our Environmental Justice Advisory Group. And I know you do it out of a commitment and passion to making sure that uh, children's health is protected. If you would, can you talk a little bit about your vision and what you see as the future or how we can reduce the incidences of childhood asthma and other respiratory diseases in this area? Well, one of the reasons I joined the committee and I enjoy so much working with the AQMD is, yes, I like to be there to help right. a child who's got an asthma attack, help the family manage the respiratory problems right. that, that, that they have, but I'd really like to step back a little bit and get rid of some of this dirty air that's actually causing the problem. Exactly. So I'd like to put myself out of business that way. Right. Probably won't happen in my lifetime, but I'd like to. I, I, I would like to make sure that the kids who need treatment are getting the appropriate right. treatment. Doesn't matter how much their parents make or whether or not they have health right. insurance, I want them to be safe. And then we need to backtrack and make sure what's causing the problem is stopped so that I don't have to do that job right. exactly. if I can. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Dr. El Hassan, I want to thank you for joining me. I thank you for your commitment and definitely for your leadership in trying to address childhood asthma. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you for having me on the show. Well, that's our show. Thank you for watching AQMD on the air and helping us clean the air that we breathe. Let's work together. Let's work